with Jurassic World having so many kept secrets, so many horror stories, which only came to light after the park fell, what was actually kept in that fateful Paddock 10? As we all know what was kept in Paddock 9, that was the Tyrannosaurus, and only ever Paddocks 9 and 11 were mentioned in the Jurassic World movie, with Paddock 9 being the T-Rex, and Paddock 11 being the Indominus Rex. So it's pretty obvious that these Paddocks 9, 10 and 11 have evidence that they are housing the huge and massive dinosaurs of Jurassic World. So what was actually going to be in Paddock 10 then? Well, let's get straight into it. We know there are many areas of Isla Nublar, including Jurassic World, which were not explored during the movies or Camp Cretaceous. For example, we knew that there was an Allosaurus and Carnotaurus in Jurassic World, but this was never displayed to the public or even mentioned in the promotional material. With that said, I do not believe they were held in Paddock 9 because I believe Paddock 9 was held for something more horrific. We also know that Jurassic World kept an entire restricted section away from the public eyes where they conducted their experiments. So could the fruits of their labour from this restricted section be in Paddock 10? Now the official documentation of what was in Paddock 10 has never been released, but with all the upcoming evidence we can kind of make an assumption of what they would have kept in there. Jurassic World has never released any documentation on all its animals kept in the park, such as the Carnotaurus and the Allosaurus, and we also know that they would have had Giganotosaurus DNA because they used that to clone the Indominus Rex. So does that mean they actually had a Giganotosaurus specimen alive in Jurassic World? Well, they would have had to have made the genome, so why not make the entire animal? It is indeed possible that it was held in Paddock 10, but that is not the only contender for this paddock. Oh, no, 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 there are plenty more coming up, and one of them potentially will blow your mind. As I said earlier, Paddock 10 would likely house a giant carnivore, because Paddock 9 and 11 housed the T-Rex and the Indominus Rex, so small carnivores are likely out of the question. But that doesn't mean they didn't keep them in Jurassic World though, just look at the quilled raptors from Jurassic Park 3. We see them in Jurassic World Dominion on the mainland, so does that mean that they were actually taken from Isla Sauna to Jurassic World when they moved all the other dinosaurs? That's food for thought and something we talk about in the restricted section video, which you can check out here after you finish watching this. So the likelihood of small carnivores being kept in Paddock 10 are out of the question in my opinion. And one of my favourite theories along with the Giganotosaurus is actually the Spinosaurus being kept in Paddock 10. Now if you've seen Camp Cretaceous you will also know that there was a Spinosaurus featured in Season 4 and Season 5 of that and it is hinted at and confirmed by the showrunner Scott that it is the same Spinosaurus from Jurassic Park 3. Now the timeline for Camp Cretaceous Season 4 where we see that Spinosaurus is 2016 so that Spinosaurus could have indeed been taken from Jurassic World after the events and fall in 2015. As we do know, the Corporation Manticorp was poaching dinosaurs off Isla Nublar at that time. We also see a holoscape in the Visitor Center detailing a Spinosaurus and hinting to the fact that it's being kept in Jurassic World. But there is a problem with this though. There is actually a skeleton featured of the Spinosaurus on Main Street. Now they do say that this is a real Spinosaurus skeleton. So is that the skeleton of the original Spinosaurus from Sauna? Or did they actually clone their own and it somehow met a grisly end or fate? Because how else would they have gotten a Spinosaurus skeleton, especially if they say it was real? Unless this was dug up by Dr. Alan Grant and his team team and displayed in Jurassic World. But there was even more evidence to suggest that the Spinosaurus was on Nubla because they were going to include it in Fallen Kingdom. Why go through all that hassle if you wasn't prepared to have one on Nubla in the first place? Now the next inclusion definitely to me seems like a likely contender, especially with Mizrani Global, dabbling with all the genomes, creating different types of hybrids, and the fact that we know this is canon and actually being built in Jurassic World. What happens if I told you? the Stegoceratops was actually going to be housed in Paddock 10. Now you might be asking yourself, what even is the Stegoceratops? Well, like the Indominus Rex, the Stegoceratops was a highly advanced hybrid with its genome constructed using the DNA of various other organisms. Its source species are mostly unknown at this time, but there's evidence showing it is the Stegosaurus makeup and Triceratop makeup, and we actually see this being rendered in Dr. Wu's hybrid laboratory on his computer. There's evidence to suggest that this is indeed ready and was waiting to be released to the public prior to the events and fall of 
Jurassic World in 2015. And just like the Indominus Rex, they would have had this ready years before its announcement, and in an early concept art for Jurassic World, at least one Stegoceratops would have been encountered in Sector 5, which is the restricted section, much like where they had a black Indominus Rex, and if you want to know all about that, check out one of my other videos. But they could have indeed be have been keeping this in Paddock 10 and the Indominus in Paddock 11, waiting to release this to the public after Indominus Rex has been revealed. It is indeed canon to the franchise, and the Stegosaurus would have appeared in Jurassic World scene in Sector 5, where it would have revealed that Henry Wu was engineering more hybrids than the Indominus Rex, but we know it was cut, and the reason for it being cut was that the existence of other hybrids would make Indominus Rex appear less unique, but that doesn't mean that they didn't create them in Jurassic World, they just didn't release it for the movie. We also know that Masrani Global were definitely dabbling in all kinds of hybrid technology prior to the events of 2015 and actually bought out InGen, but that's something for a different video and something I covered to you. But as in regards to Paddock 10, what do you think they kept in there? Do you think it was the Spinosaurus, the Giganotosaurus, or was it the Stegoceratops? Let me know in the comments below. There are plenty other videos on the channel just like this. Go and check them out now and a massive thanks to my YouTube members who have made this video possible and a huge shout out to Peter, Salate and Audrey for being members for over 18 months each. Thank you very much guys. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and like the video. I'm Shadows and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers now. Bye bye.